Welcome to the e-learning module entitled Engine Room Resource Management Backgrounder Background and Process of Making ERM Mandatory In June 2006, IMO Flag State Implementation Committee analyzed the outcome of investigation of the causes into 75 casualties and identified that a high number of casualties were attributed to poor bridge resource management practices, and stressed that the importance of BRM training and that the need to adopt BRM principles in the workplace scenario was imperative. Singapore invited MSC to instruct STW subcommittee to consider the issue of making key elements of BRM training mandatory. MSC agreed to refer Singapore's proposal to the STW subcommittee for detailed consideration. STW 38 held in January. 2007 considered the proposals concerned and agreed that there was a need to develop the key elements of BRM slash ERM as mandatory requirements. Based on the agreement, Singapore, Japan, and others submitted specified proposals to include BRM slash ERM as mandatory requirements and through the discussion, the subcommittee agreed that BRM slash ERM should be introduced as a requirement for the competence maintain a safe navigational, engineering, watch, but not as a new competence. BRM and ERM should be considered to be the same in the level of requirement and to be arranged in a same manner. Based on the agreement, Singapore, Japan, and others submitted specified proposals to include BRM slash ERM as mandatory requirements and through the discussion, the subcommittee agreed that BRM slash ERM should be introduced only into the operational level. Communication, leadership, and situational awareness should be taken into account in developing the requirements. In this context, the drafting group was organized at the first intersessional working group held in September, 2008 and a consolidating draft including these agreements was developed and it was approved as the draft amendment by the STW subcommittee. On the other hand, the United States proposed moving Section B. 8 slash 2, part 3 to 1, paragraphs 4 and 5, bridge resource management principles, to section A, 8 slash 2, part 3, expressing a viewpoint that weakness in bridge management had been cited as a major cause for marine casualties worldwide and that BRM instruction would provide officers with the skills, such as teamwork, team building, communication, leadership, decision-making and resource management. This proposal was agreed with ERM principles to be moved as well. After that, Australia, Japan, Singapore, the United States and Amaris submitted a proposal to move the BRM slash ERM principles to Section A, integrating BRM and ERM principles. This proposal was approved and adopted as a draft amendment to the convention at the STW 40 held in January 2009. ERM principles after the amendment STCW code in 2010. ERM principles were introduced into Chapter 8I of Section B in the STCW Code as a recommended guideline in 2006. This guideline was almost the same as BRM principles that were introduced in 1995 and BRM and ERM principles were integrated into nine principles as mandatory requirements as follows.
Section A8-2 of the STCW Code Part 3 Watch Keeping Principles in General Watches shall be carried out based on the following bridge and engine room resource management principles. Proper arrangements for watch keeping personnel shall be ensured in accordance with the situations. Any limitation in qualifications or fitness of individuals shall be taken into account when deploying watch keeping personnel. Understanding of watch-keeping personnel regarding their individual roles, responsibility, and team roles shall be established. The Master, Chief Engineer Officer and Officer in Charge of Watch Duties shall maintain a proper watch, making the most effective use of the resources available such as information, installations equipment and other personnel. Watch keeping personnel shall understand functions and operation of installation slash equipment, and be familiar with handling them. Watch keeping personnel shall understand information and how to respond to information from each station slash installation slash equipment. Information from the station slash installation slash equipment shall be appropriately shared by all the watch keeping personnel. Watch keeping personnel shall maintain an exchange of appropriate communication in any situation. And watch keeping personnel shall notify the master slash chief engineer officer slash officer in charge of watch duties without any hesitation when in any doubt as to what action to take in the interest of safety. This is the end of the e-learning module engine room resource management backgrounder. Thank you.